maybe it takes one week or one month. But normally, okay, normally in our workshop, seven day workshop, let's say the hypertension people, we quit from medication, journey normalized, or at least basically normalized. So we, many people ask me the question, okay, if they're okay in the workshop, what if they leave the workshop one year, two years later? Does it still work? That's, I don't know. But we can do the research. So we made an investigation on about 300 people who attended our workshop. The result is as follows. Okay, Number one, 85% of the people still doing high dialysis in their daily life. 15% dropped. Among the these people who are still doing the pathologin, average 80% of the people take no more education, medication. So, what about their health condition? They stop the medication, but the health condition is much, much better than before. The worst case is that they could maintain the health condition as before. For example, if they took medication to stabilize their blood pressure, now even if they don't take anything, blood pressure is still normal. But that is the worst case. Normally it's much better than this. So that is the result. Okay, now let's look at Obama's reform, medical reform. This reform, in my mind, is not about healing. It's all about money and budget. It's not a healing issue, okay? It's, it's about how to spend money among different groups of people. But for me, or for every individual like you guys, you are interested in the healing. Like, I got a headache. How, could you get, how can I get rid of the headache? I got you know, diabetes. How can I normalize my sugar level? That's what I've been doing. And this is why I made it very clear I'm not a doctor. But I can show you the way how you do it yourself. My discovery is that the majority of the people all have heart disease. So I would ask you a question here. How many of you know that you have a heart disease? Please raise your hand. So, zero. Oh, one. Maybe. Maybe two. <laughs> so this is the healthiest group I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. We have a simple way to check out the heart disease. We just sleep, sleep here. Out sleeping, most of you will find the, you know, what we call SA, and, and in English it's called Bruce here. This is the area where the heart meridian, pericardium, lung meridian go through. So normally if there is blockage or there is toxics in it, you will see the bruise. So, let's do it right now. Check out whether we have got heart disease or not. It's very simple. We do five minutes. Just like here. Yeah. The elbow. Inner side of the elbow. Yeah. I just, these two ladies, they got Wow. Uh, oh, Gracie. Oh, 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 because you are too gentle to yourself. <laughs> oh, that is gentle, but, yeah. Okay, now I do a, a little bit of explanation, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See here the meridian, okay. If you go all the way here from the small finger here, this is called heart meridian. See the The middle one is called pericardium. That is also the heart, surrounding the heart. And this, with the thumb you go all the way, that is the lungs meridian. So it's the same here. So normally, 
we'll look at this. That means all these three major meridians are blocked. Of course, everyone's blocked just have different degrees, but this block for sure. So then I'm going to ask a question. Do you know you have a heart disease? No, congratulations. <laughs> now you discovered you got a heart disease. <laughs> Do you know you have a heart disease? No. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I, I further explain about that. Okay. Now, big deal, heart disease. Not a big deal. Why? Most of us, I would say almost all of us, have heart disease more or less. But you don't know. See, for this, if you go to the hospital, checked by the doctors, the report is, oh, you've got perfect heart, no problem. Now you have another option. See, that report is one option from the doctors. But I would warn you, this most probably is not from the judgment of the doctor. It's from where? Laboratory. From the machine. Yes, right. See? If this machine doesn't work, then they change it into another machine. So the machine is checking out your problem. You can count on that. That's your option. Now you have another option. That is your own body's language. If you slap here, if you don't have a problem, no matter how hard you try, you won't have it. It's very accurate. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. You cannot say, okay, I want to get some salt out. Oh, you try very hard. If you're healthy, you cannot have it. Or in other words, we have many different diseases. If you go to hospital, there are many different divisions, okay? My discovery is that all of them more or less are heart diseases. Maybe you get a headache, insomnia, or even skin problem, you think that is a problem supposed to be down in a, that division. But behind it, it's always a heart disease. Why? Many people ask me why. Sometimes a thousand people. When they say they don't have saw hair here, I say, okay, now switch. You slap on each other. Normally, in two minutes, all of them have saw. <laughs> yeah. See, when you do on your own, you see, we say, this is a gentleman. You're very gentleman. <laughs> we do on each other, whoa, oh, that's totally different. Okay, then why all of us have this kind of so-called heart disease? As I said just now, the disease actually is just a blockage of different meridians. So you're not at ease. So even the English word disease is dis-ease. If you're at ease, you're happy, you're okay. If disease, that means it's blocked. So even the English version is very close to that of Chinese. <laughs> okay, the Chinese character Bing. If I got a word I can write, the Chinese character Bing, okay. Is a bing zi pang. You know we have a Chinese a part that is for a what? You